Hi, this is David Abonic Turtle. Today I wanted to share an elegant solution that came up in the forum for the closed form pricing of a bond. I'll put the spreadsheet on the website if you'd like to take a closer look. As this is a bond, as usual, I need some input assumptions, face value of 100, 10 year term or maturity. We'll assume the coupon pays annually 5% and that the yield or yield to maturity is 6%. As you probably know, we can price this bond with Excel's PV or present value function. It's telling us that under the assumption the coupon pays annually and we're discounting annually, in other words, the compound frequency is annual, then the price of the bond, the present value of the bond is $92.64. Now we can also price the bond by detailing the future cash flows and then discounting them to the present. Oftentimes we in, end up needing to do that. Now the closed form solution to the bond price is elegant because it considers or treats the bond as the synthesis of three positions. So first, the one for each column here, the first is a long position in the perpetuity that pays the coupon. So notice here, the coupon in this bond is $5 per year. And so we've gotten the first column here is a perpetuity or infinite series of $5 coupons. Then the second position, Notice we've also got a perpetuity of $5 coupons, but we're going to take a short position, not today, but forward 10 years or to the end of the 10th year. So the second position is short the perpetuity, but forward n years. So that's why I've got this in yellow, because that short position is really illustrated by the red. So now this is the elegance of this approach, I think. If you consider if we're long this perpetuity and then if we're short this perpetuity starting right here, then these two positions net each other out perfectly or the short hedges this perfectly and we're left with the coupon stream that is the bond. And that means the only thing we need to add is the final cash flow that we've admitted and that's the third position that's the final face value, and that's just long a zero coupon bond. So notice what we end up synthesizing is what's here in yellow, this truncated stream of the coupons that's a function of long this perpetuity, short this perpetuity, gives us this truncated series of coupons plus long the zero coupon bond. So since that's necessarily equal to the bond, we now have the way, a way to price this in a closed form way. And so here, one for each row, here's the long perpetuity. I've got the formula right here. Notice there's three terms. So the first one, the perpetuity is elegant because it's really just the coupon times the face value discounted at the yield, sort of capitalized under the perpetuity. See, this formula is right here. That's long the perpetuity. That's pretty elegant. Notice the second term is just minus for the short, and then it's, since it's a forward start, we do the discounting. Otherwise, this is the same here. So it's minus and discounting, and you can see I've just used the long perpetuity, and then I'm discounting it. And finally, the long zero is just the face value discounted back to today, which I've got here, face value discounted back today. So that means we're long a perpetuity, short the forward perpetuity, and this should really say long the zero coupon bond, such that the closed form synthesis is long the perpetuity here, short the forward perpetuity, and long the zero here. So you can see how I've just added those up, and I get 9264, the same as I get from Excel, and then, you can look at the spreadsheet if you'd like, but there's a little bit of more simplification that goes on such that the final formula is right here in cell C19. I'll leave it to you to look at the spreadsheet if you'd like to see that. But you can see what I've got here is I managed to price the bond in a closed form or analytical manner without the need to detail this out and without the need to rely on the Excel function. Also, if it's of interest, that was all under the annual assumption. I've got semi-annual. It's going to be a little more common for us in the FRM. So the only difference there is 
I'm assuming that the 5% is a semi-annual coupon. In other words, instead of paying $5 per year, it's $2.50 every six months. But you can see, again, there's a reconciliation. And finally, you have theoretical interest. I've got the continuous solution or continuously combated solution here, which is the exponential function, where you can see my closed form formula is equal to what we would get if I went out and detailed it with continuous discounting. And I'm not going to show you the longhand here, but just trust that's what that is longhand. And it's the same if I use my closed form solution. So I hope that's helpful. This is David Harper, The Vonic Turtle. Thanks for your time.